Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. Um, so I started a thread on Reddit a couple of days ago on the AliExpress subreddit and the title of my post, I have it open, I'm gonna put it up on the screen in a second is, can we talk about Ali vendors trying to bribe users with gifts? So um, this is something I've just been like noticing for the past, it's like at least a year. Now I've been buying from AliExpress from about as long as I've been living in Israel. And the reason AliExpress is crazy popular in Israel and it's actually quite funny, uh, if you look for products on AliExpress, you'll often see they've, uh, they've got Hebrew, Hebrew products that they've customized for Israeli customers. The reason we in Israel tend to buy disproportionately from AliExpress is because the e-commerce options in Israel are not brilliant. I mean, there, is lo there are local e-commerce stores um, Amazon delivers some of their inventory here, but it tends to be very expensive in shipping. And we also have to pay more than $75 uh, VAT, VAT on orders that are more than 75 bucks. Um, and stuff can get held up in customs. Israeli customs is super strict. So for a combination of reasons, um, the fact that Ali, Amazon hasn't really serviced Israel properly they did do this this free shipping trial but it was discontinued when the pandemic started and no one really knows if it was intended as a one i suspect it was a once off thing it doesn't really make sense for amazon to um indefinitely subsidize shipping stuff from fulfillment centers in the us over to israel in any event that's why we're aliexpress fiends in israel um so i've been using ali for seven years buy a bunch of electronic stuff from it and over, I've been getting a bunch of business cards over the course of this time. Now, AliExpress vendors are quite funny. Um, they use the word dear a lot. So uh, if you, when you get private messages in AliExpress from vendors, they will typically address you as dear. Um, there's a lot of funny things about AliExpress. The fact that it doesn't really have a proper customer support mechanism is, is funny. If you find that kind of stuff funny, you have to dispute things with vendors and then they beg you to close. It's, it's a weird place, but that's Ali. So I've been getting business cards and the business cards typically are like, hi dear, um, loved your purchase. Please follow our store on at this. And they, they love QR code. So they always put a QR code there and you go on. Now over the last year or so, it's changed. The formula's changed. I'm getting bribes real bribes, serious bribes from AliExpress people. And it's the same thing you get, you open up your order and you pick out your, um, I don't know, measuring tape, whatever else you buy from AliExpress. And um, you see there's a business card. So you say, oh, maybe this is something related to my order. And you see it's actually a bribe offer. Now I started this Reddit thread because I thought it was strange. Two things, I thought it was strange that I hadn't seen other people talking about it. The second thing that was strange is that I've just come back from the US for a few weeks and um, I did you know, a bit of uh, purchasing over there for mostly camera related, video related accessories. And um, I didn't notice compared to other years, now I'm not in the US that often, but um, compared to two years ago when I was last there and also ordered a few bits and pieces on Amazon, um, I thought there was like a lot of AliExpress like AliExpress-like merchandise. Now, what I mean by that is merchandise that's coming from Chinese vendors, um, doesn't have a name to it, a manufacturer to it. There's no English, there's often no um, English uh, user documentation, or if there is, it's machine translated from Chinese and it's very, very poor quality. So that's kind of par for the course from AliExpress. Uh, it is a Chinese marketplace. For Amazon, I was kind of disappointed. And I got my first, I actually got my first bribe card from Amazon. Now, this is my word. I don't know what else you could call these things, but that's what they are there, right? It's a business card with an offer of bribe. So um, that's what I posted on Reddit. I was like, what's going on? Is this just me or is this happening to everybody? And does AliExpress care? Because I've been tempted one or two times to be like, look, um, if you guys actually had a customer service functionality, you might want to know that uh, companies are, it's not, it's just like an icky feeling to buy something you paid money for and all you really want is the product, but then you pull up this business card and it's like, they're trying to offer you this kind of a sketchy deal. Um, 
so that was it and it's on happening on Amazon. So people said some interesting things over on the, I was gonna say the big R. Has anyone ever called Reddit the big R? I don't know. Uh, let's go on to the screen. So uh, this is my thread here. And I just started this uh, thread a couple of, ah, it's only one day ago in fact, how time is flying. Uh, so I just described the typical experience of a, a bribe card and I explained that I got a bribe on Amazon. Now I'm actually going to reach out to Amazon customer support when I finish this video or perhaps during it because um, I do think they should know and I was astounded to get a bribe card from an uh, Amazon vendor. So people, and Atin, Atinineko says that claims that this was um, a strategy first started by Taobao sellers. Now Taobao is another big Chinese marketplace and uh, he or she says that eventually spread to wherever Chinese sellers are doing business. Their gifts are dirt cheap and the positive reviews help drive sales by a lot. So that is, uh, you know, that's kind of typically what it is. It's like, give us a five star review and we'll send you half of a selfie stick. And you're like, man, I just don't have time for this. Now I personally, and I mean this actually quite seriously, I wouldn't take a bribe. I have an ethical problem with this system. So irrespective of what the quid pro quo being offered was, I wouldn't do it. But yeah, it's typically for some kind of uh, garbage um, or what looks very much like garbage merchandise. I'm just gonna put myself down here a little bit. Um, now, um, someone says to install fake spot um, to get more accurate reviews on Amazon. That's actually a pretty cool uh, Chrome extension. Um, Endgrain81 says, this is a tactic that has been going on for a while now. However, Amazon is aware and they are cracking down on this behavior. Amazon recently suspended two of the largest Chinese sellers on Amazon for using bribery to solicit fake reviews. These are companies that do around $1 billion in sales on Amazon alone. So this is actually pretty big stuff. So I thought this was worth making a YouTube video about because we're not talking about peanuts here. Um, when you look at some of the, the volumes that uh, you know the major sellers are doing on a marketplace like Amazon, actually pretty pretty substantial amounts of business. Um, so let's just see, because this is why I, as I've written about, I do have a love-hate relationship with Reddit. I've had some terrible experiences there, but um, it also has a ton of niche communities like this with very interesting uh, people that are very engaged around certain subjects. Um, this person claims, and these are just claims, um, in China, this is considered acceptable business practice. And oftentimes a business practice that's recommended to increase reviews, uh, which in turn increases sales. They consider it a win-win for customer and the business, although the, although the value proposition is unbalanced. It is simply just a difference in business culture versus what's acceptable in American culture. By the way, I don't know why everybody on Reddit always assumes everybody else on Reddit is in America. Slight pet peeve. Um, if they plan on selling an Amazon, which is based in the US, then I agree they need to be compliant with American culture and business standards and ethics. Now that's actually, uh, that is that is my point actually about Amazon. So on AliExpress, okay, this kind of nonsense goes on and we sort of expect it to. I do think that if um, a Chinese vendor is going to be selling an Amazon and I'm going to be buying as a consumer from Amazon, then I expect to be getting something a little bit better than um, nameless merchandise, um, which comes with these bribe cards in it. Um, oh yeah, so then I said I was gonna post my, um, post my bribe card. So I'm gonna take a risk here, guys, because I don't know, this might really annoy them, but I'm gonna show you a real bribe card. So I actually uh, got this bribe card. I, this is my word again. I got this bribe card just before I left for the US and uh, I decided to keep it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna photograph this thing because it's ludicrous and perhaps I'll send it to AliExpress. Perhaps I'll just post it on Twitter. Uh, but I just wanna show you guys what we're talking about. Now, disclaimer is that I have written on the front of the bribe card <laughs> when I came back from the US. Um, I did my video shoot at sunrise in the Tayelet in Jerusalem and um, I didn't have any paper handy. I do try to go paperless and sometimes I actually do kind of need paper. So I wrote, I just scribbled down the time of sunrise um, on the front of the bribe card, but it doesn't really affect it. So it's from Hawaii and um, Hawaii makes Bluetooth headphones uh, basically. And that's, I've bought a couple of their products um, over the years. Uh, this is their website, they're a, they are a um, Hong Kong uh, based company um, and they sell all this kind of stuff, you know, Bluetooth speakers and headphones and whatnot, it's hawaii.hk 
and um, they sell a lot of stuff on AliExpress and I found their Bluetooth headphones to be reasonably decent. So I've ordered and reordered a couple of times. Um, so that's what this company is and this is real. This is not something I printed. Uh, this actually came in an AliExpress container. Here we go. You know what, I'll read first and then I'm gonna show you guys. So it says, Hawaii. This is the front side of the business card or the bribe card. Get a, get, and it's all written in this kind of like messed up English. Uh, get VIP promo code here, email service at hawaii.hk, just to show that the domain is indeed the domain. Uh, get Scan QR code, get latest promo code, contact us for help, scan me. So there's two QR codes, so okay, fine. Uh, backside of the business card is where, is, where, is where the bribe is offered. So it says, leave us five star guest gift. And then it has instructions for how to uh, get your gift in exchange for the five-star review. One, send us five-star screenshot. Two, if you have a new order in Hawaii, so I presume this means that you need to give a five-star review on your previous purchase and buy something else. Three, send order to us, get free gift. So I think the system, I think what they mean is that you should order something from them on AliExpress. Uh, send them your order number, um, tell them you left a review, and then you'll get your nice bribe reward. Um, if you have any problem about product, one, oh yeah, this is the other thing they do on AliExpress that I'm, if AliExpress had any um, integrity, and I'm not sure they do, I think they probably don't, uh, they would crack down on this. So on AliExpress, when something goes wrong with something you buy, like you buy, actually I bought a, accessory for the Ronin SC on AliExpress and it just doesn't work. It doesn't fit on the gimbal. So I said, I, what you do is open a dispute. It's the stupidest way for resolving, for providing basic customer service you could possibly think of. There's no, hi, this doesn't work, uh, contacting the marketplace. Uh, you're, you have to dispute it. And no one really knows why the vendors hate it, probably because they risk getting kicked off. but many times they will message you saying, don't dispute, Clo please close the dispute. Um, so they're basically trying to get you to not go through the um, correct channel for getting a refund on AliExpress. So you can see why I say AliExpress is a terrible marketplace because, and this is it in black and white, this is basically a major seller on AliExpress um, telling you not to use the um, normative mechanism for resolving issues in AliExpress. If your headphones come not working, they're saying, don't do a dispute, contact us. And that's just really not okay either. Uh, if I were a marketplace, um, you can't have that kind of stuff going on. So the second paragraph is, if you have any problem by product, one, don't leave feedback or disputes. So they're saying, even if your stuff is terrible, please don't leave us a bad review. Two, contact us should you get solutions. So I'm not, claiming that this is what Hawaii does. I'm not leveling that direct claim, but what I am saying is what is going on and what makes these websites so dangerous for consumers and unreliable is that if you have customers doing this stuff, they're telling people basically, if you buy a uh, measuring tape and it's crap, don't leave a bad review, contact us and we'll send you a little bribe. And if the measuring tape comes and it doesn't pull out any measuring tape, well, don't contact Amazon or don't contact the marketplace. Let us deal with it. And again, it's um, it's, it's a very very deliberate calculated ploys on the one side to um, prevent any negative reviews. Don't get, don't discourage people from leaving reviews, discourage people from going through the normal complaint channels on the marketplace. And on the other hand, it's a enticement for people to leave artificially good reviews by giving them um, worthless enticements, bribes essentially. So that's what is going on. And now here we have the big reveal, the bribe card. So this is the front side, Hawaii. This is literally what came from the envelope. Front, front side says Hawaii, get VIP promo code here. Um, and then this is the, the scroll I just told you about just to be transparent. And on the back side is the bribe um, offer here. It says Hawaii. Leave us five star, get gift, send us five star screenshot. Just gonna, gonna make sure this guy gets in focus. Uh, if you have a new order in Hawaii, that's step two. Step three is send order to get, to get free gift. 
If you have any problems about product, don't leave feedback or dispute. Contact us, you could get solution. Okay, now finally it's in focus. I'm just gonna let you guys read that for a second or two. So there you go, guys. Uh, bribe cards have become a thing. Um, I think it's really crappy. And um, I did get one from Amazon and I'm definitely not like I don't, I haven't contacted their customer service enough times. Unfortunately, some of the stuff I bought, um, this stuff from dubious merchandise didn't work, uh, but I am gonna let them know because I do think that uh, marketplaces that um, want to sell to Western consumers and operate in the West uh, need to operate by Western, general Western business standards and in normal Western business standards, um, <laughs> transparent black and white bribery and request to circumvent uh, customer service channels is not acceptable. So thank you guys for watching and like to get more videos from me. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And if you're on Reddit, uh, do feel free to um, follow me or drop me a message or be in touch. Um, and thank you guys for watching.